Why not me? Okay, here comes your next comic. Put your hands together, make you feel well on stage. Johnny Cook, make some noise for Johnny. Let him hear it, folks. Clap for Johnny. Well, I guess tis the season uh, for political correctness. Aren't you getting sick of that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah nowadays. Everybody's happy holidays, happy holidays. It's gotten to the point where I'm afraid to go up to a, uh, a stranger. And what's your Mahal Hitler? <laughs> yeah, no, it's Christmas season. I gotta try a little harder with my gifts this year. Last year I got lazy, got all my ideas from uh, radio commercials. Yeah, I paid to have a star named. <laughs> After my Vermont teddy bear. Then I sent him a pajama gram. <laughs> then I got real drunk. <laughs> now, with this political correctness, it's out of control. Can't even say the name of the Washington football team anymore. Yeah. Of course, uh, I take that uh, issue very seriously. Uh, it doesn't look like it, but I actually have a lot of Native American blood. You. Got a quart in the fridge back yeah. home. <laughs> <laughs> Makes a fine dipping sauce. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, tailgating at the Redskin game. <laughs> What's going on in Virginia with our politicians? Uh, they're locking one up for uh, messing around with an underage girl. <laughs> You're all underage to me. You got a ex-governor going to prison. His wife's going to prison. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to say Virginia politics is sleazy. Only place I've been in a voting booth that had a glory hole. <laughs> One of the doctor, uh, nothing serious. Word the wise, midgets fight dirty. <laughs> he told me he thought I had the body of a 25-year-old. So I buried him right next to it. Oh, <laughs> and nobody's saying I got a body of a 25-year-old. I am old and fat. I have let myself go. That's how pathetic I am. I actually got one of those grabbers help me pick up stuff around the house. <laughs> Got pretty dependent on it too. Till I dropped it on the floor. <laughs> Had to go buy another one just to pick it up. <laughs> Got to the store, they're like, here you go, Jenny. We've been waiting for you. Your kind always comes back. <laughs> Gotta go on a diet. Gotta go on a real diet this time, not one of those shortcuts they have in the women's magazines. Yeah, I tried this one, uh, well, if you have to go to a restaurant, just eat a child's portion. That was stupid. Yeah, kid told the manager almost got arrested. <laughs> Why do they let kids in restaurants anyway? They, they do nothing but cause me trouble. So this nice Mexican place, whole section of the menu, Ninos, Ninos, Ninos. I should have known that Ninos means children, that's right. I was looking at the children's menu. I thought it was a specialty to house. <laughs> hey, Carlos, bring me one of your Ninos. <laughs> one of the really hot ones. Carlos beat the hell out of me. <laughs> and a guy from the kitchen came over, offered me one for $200. Oh. It's like, man, I'm not, I'm not hungry. I'll just go home, have the wife whip me up something. <laughs> nah, I'm not into underage kids or underage Mexican kids. You know what I am into, though? <laughs> just between us. I always kind of like the big one. In fact, I used to be kind of a freak, and I just remembered how young the crowd is, so this is a gamble. <laughs> Anybody ever hear of a little lady named Cass Elliot? Mama Cass? Woo! Yeah, back in the day I sent her hundreds of letters, addressed them to my darling songbird. Tell her, oh, please laugh at the punchline, too. <laughs> Tell her what a great singer she was and how turned on I was by her morbid obesity. Big fat to both thighs. Thing is, she never got the letters. 
celebrity address book was all screwed up, all the Mona Cast letters went to some other singer. Her name was uh, Karen Carpenter. <laughs> Thank you. The Coronas need proper response to that. Thank you very much. You got a great scene going here. I'm trying to hope to see you again. Come on.